All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have just discovered that I am a uh, capital D dumbass. <laughs> Uh, I, I finished up the, the classic two episodes that we've been doing each recording session um, just to, to get a couple episodes in. Um, and I was like, man, I really hope I followed those comments and, and uh, made sure I did what they said um, from Robin and Adam um, on the past episodes to make sure, you know, I, I wasn't just not doing what they said. And I, I think I followed most of it um, with what you guys said in the, 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 uh, um, the suggestions. But one of the things that I missed, which was a huge thing that Robin decided um, uh, was super important to tell me, and I just totally blew by it, uh, was this right here you can see on your screen, this gleaming, beautiful little system they have. If you right-click on your thruster, uh, you can change the amount of solid fuel and its thrust limiter. So right now the hammer has a thrust limiter of 100, so it's going full thrust when it starts, and it has a solid fuel of 375. Uh, I was going to also, I called this the bad idea one. This was my idea to try and get us into that range um, because then I could have limiting thrust on the left and right with liquid boosters. Um, but I just figured out if uh, we can instead just change the amount of fuel in this thing, then we simply don't have to <laughs> worry about um, changing anything else. So we're going to see if that gets us uh, to the level that we need to get to. So I'm doing a, um, it is a, th a third episode for today. Um, because I know that, um, you guys love this and I love this and I don't want to leave us on a, on a bad note and not getting anything done, not, n not getting any of our contracts out of the way. So what I think what I'm, I'm going to do is this thing has a, um, oops, it has a thrust of, let's see here. It has an amount of 140 for its solid fuel. So we want more than 140 because we want to go higher than the flea. Um, but we don't want to go to 375 because that's going to take us to the goddamn moon. So we don't want to do 140, which is about one third. Um, but let's see. Let's do. Um, we want to get relatively low though. So let's try 220. Let's try. Uh, see, we can do it in steps here. Yeah, let's try 225. We'll drop it down a little bit. We'll keep the thrust right up at the top. And we'll keep our, um, let's see, we'll just minus that out of the way. We've got our good amount of parachutes here, our decoupler if we need it, and this here. We're not going to worry about any uh, wings or anything like that. We don't want more aerodynamics. And um, for the time being, we'll, we'll hit this to be orange. And then we'll, uh, we'll test this one out. So this is the bad idea one. And let's test it. Um, I want to try and make this work. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, I still don't know whether decoupling our, our booster at the top and it blowing up means that we won't coll uh, collect a contract even if we've got all the parameters. I would assume so because we don't land with the thing anymore, but we will see um, what we're going to do. So this episode going to be trial and error just like the last ones. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to mess around with that fuel limit and see if we can get it up to um, the... 17 to 22,000 range and keep ourselves there and then kind of try and work our way back and then we'll try it again one of the things uh, Robin mentioned was uh, doing it uh, with the flea boosters and you can't really get to that f what 55,000 range 51,000 so what we might do is do um, two side by side but I doubt we'll get to that this episode um, so let's just hit it and see how far we go start with a little bit less fuel here um, and we're going to see how high that takes us. So we are fucking blasting. Okay. 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving. Okay. So this hopefully doesn't take us too high. I'm going to angle us a little bit. Oh, man, yeah, see, I don't know if we go above this height. Oh, we are slowing down, though. Oh, see, we, we went above this height, which I don't know if that means that we have to, yeah, we have to stay within that range. So we'll speed us up to two, so we're a little bit faster. Uh, We'll hit three. We'll hit three. Yeah, so this is taking us up to 35,000. So we're going to we're gonna drop down to 180 fuel. 
Um, maybe even smaller thrust. Maybe we'll do like 75% thrust because that means that we'll burn a little bit longer, but we won't have so much momentum at the, f at the top, uh, at the beginning of the flight. So, whoo boy, we're coming back down. Okay, we're going to want to angle ourselves down here. We're going to want to hit our parachutes. We didn't hit them right at the top, but, you know, they're working here. Yeah, nice, nice. Very nice. Then they're going to deploy at 5,000 meters. Very cool. Okay. So, oh, uh, let's hit, um, let's hit this. Ah, we didn't do it. We didn't do it high enough. We should have done it when it was at 40,000. I always forget about that. That's fine. All right. So we were at least able to save this craft. So that's pretty good. Um, but we'll mess with our thrust and we'll mess with our solid fuel level again. We'll try and get a little bit of a different, uh, amount here. We don't want to go lower than 140 because then we're just going to be a solid flea booster. But I think 225 is a little bit too much. But it did get us lower, whereas we got like 80 or 90 last time. We had about two-thirds of our fuel level and we got to um, 40. So hopefully cutting that down by another third or so is going to get us to um, that like 17 to 20,000 range. So come on, Heyman, bring it on home. Get yourself back in here. I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I'd say I'd, I'd want it to go a little bit, um, a little bit faster. But I, I like the view. You know, we get to see the nice ocean there, the mountains in the back. Which when we get up to that high sky. Um, range we can actually see there's like mountains and stuff like that i think i saw like a uh, uh snowy areas and stuff there's those islands over there so there might be areas that we can go land in and check shit out um so that's something that's something we can uh take a look at and when we land i'm gonna hit the log pressure data because we haven't done one at the surface yet and that might get us a little bit of science um so we will see if that works for us I think we're moving at an okay speed right now. Um, let me see here. Let's look at our oops. Look at our change in V. Change in V. Where does that come up? I'm not entirely sure, but I think we're going fast enough. Or I think we're not going. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We saved it all. Let's go. All right, let's log this pressure data. Yeah. They get a little bit of science there and recover our vessel. So that way it wasn't a fully wasted mission. Um, but we at least, I at least know now um, how to change the, um, the levels of, uh, of fuel. So we're going to get this thing here. Going to give us some better chances at, at getting higher up later on. So now we've got basic rocketry. We've got all of our basics out of the way, which is very, very important. Um, let's see. We're going to put our thrust limiter. We can go to 150, 187, and we're going to set our thrust to, what do you think, 75%? I think, uh, let's say 80. We'll go 80. We'll see how that works. Um the bad idea too and we've got all of our stuff going here all of it on the right track okay let us launch here so we're gonna see what we can get with this and depending on how high we get we might have to hit that barometer so let me get that queued up here click on that pin that on get our SAS going and we'll hit it so we got a little bit less thrust here, um, which means we'll burn a little bit longer. Um, we've got less solid fuel, so we'll see how high we get now. We're moving, we're moving. Okay, we cut out at 6,000 meters, something like that. I'm angle us a little. If 
I can. Not not quite. Mm. Yeah, I can't really angle us too too much. Rockus? Oh yeah? Come on. Come on. Nope. Maybe not maybe don't do that. Oh, see now we're above the two thousand the twenty two thousand range. So we gotta go a little bit lower on our uh on our sp on our um height or on our on our fuel level. Oh man, we are still going up. Good lord, okay. We're gonna hit it with this. We're gonna get a little bit of a time warp here. Thirty thousand. Ooh, we're gonna wanna take a pressure data here. Keep experiment, and we're also coming back down, so we're going to want to launch our stuff. Review data. What's that going to give us? 10 science. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. We've got our fuel boosters coming in. These are popping out first to slow us down. Okay, we're going to hit it with the times four. And what did we get? No parachute explosion. Good stuff. There we go. Yeah. All right. We got 10 signs out of that. That was pretty nice. Um, but we still need to go a little bit lower. So I'm going to lower our fuel level to 150, maybe? That might be too low. We're at 180. But we went up to, what What was our what was our apios? Ap a a p o a p i o p s i s however it was pronounced. I can't remember. Um, can we look at, like, general what it was? Ah, no. All right. Well, whatever. Um, it was something like 30,000. So maybe we reduce our thrust. Um, though that's going to just mean that it lasts a little longer. Gives us a little bit less at the start. So we might need to lower it to one. Yeah, we could lower it to 150. Um yeah, because we we do want to stay within that range of seventeen to thirty thousand or thirty thousand. So yeah, let's lower it to one fifty, keep the same thrust, and see if that gets us where we need to be. Um, and then we will land this puppy. One thing I do want to know uh, is if if you guys know down in the comments um, where my change. Like obviously we have a change in speed here. Um, We've got our um, like meters per second here, but that seemed to be like a perspective. Like, oh, if you get, um, like, if you have th th like this amount of fuel and this kind of stuff, you're gonna reach about this speed. Does that mean that like that will happen each time I will reach that speed? Because I know that they have speed parameters here where I have to reach 370 to 480 meters per second. Um, is that kind of the speed that I want? Um, or like is that is that like when it says 370 to 480 down here is that the speed that or whatever I'm going to be at or is that just sort of like given these parameters you'll get here but it can change um, I'm not quite sure so if you guys know in the comments um, let me know how that works son of a bitch we were going too fast <laughs> okay well it doesn't really matter because we still recovered uh the barometer so we got our thing there we've got our science from that so that's good and we got we got some money back all right let's keep on going let's keep on going this is a trial and error season we have three episodes from this session that are all just trial and error hopefully you guys don't mind the insane amount of tests that we're doing now but hopefully they bring us a little bit of of uh success so let's drop this down to 150 yeah let's drop this down to 150 um the bad idea three we've got everything else kind of going here um everything else is pretty fine and uh oh we're gonna oh i can merge stuff well i'm not gonna worry about merging any of my things right now but we're gonna just keep going see how high 150 gets us and uh Oh, I almost forgot. We're going to hit that SAS. And we're going to keep on going. So we have, like, 
half of our fuel normally. And that this is going to get us, yeah, it's going to burn out around 4,000, but we can carry on pretty high above that. So let's see what happens here. Because we're still, like, we've still got a lot of speed on us. And, yeah, I'm not seeing, see, this is at zero, so I'm not really sure what our change in speed is. Ooh, yeah, we're getting up, we're getting up. Can we get to that 17,000? We're slowing down, but might be, might be getting there. Might be getting there. Yeah, yeah, 17,000, 17,000, okay, okay. Okay, you can stop stop now though. I don't I don't want to get past 22,000. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. 19,000, 19,600, 700, 800. It's going up slowly now. Let's try and get ourselves angled downward and get ourselves ready. Oh, yep. Nice. 19,000. That puts us right in the range. Okay. Good good stuff. We've got our shoots coming out. Um, hopefully this means we don't explode. Uh, <laughs> last time we exploded. Um, so we'll see if that doesn't happen this time. Good thing our parachute comes out. And we're going to increase our time here get a little bit of a faster timeline going now now that we're under 16,000 yeah see oh mmm there's literally a run test button so when you get to that sweet spot of altitude you click run test <laughs> I wouldn't watch myself play this game. <laughs> I am very surprised that so many of you are still watching. I am very, very happy um, that you enjoy this. I, I, I love playing this game, but God damn it, the amount of stuff. I, I Hold on. I'm going to check the while, while we're just letting this thing come down. I'm going to check the comments because if I totally miss that, I'm going to I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, oh my god, we're getting we're getting like good comments. Let me try and pay attention to them. Um, okay. Um, okay. So I might not. One of the things that they uh, they did talk about in the comments is the speed. So now that we know that we can run that test, we just got to make sure that we're at that speed, and that's one of the things that I need to figure out. Um, oh, we do have a. Okay, our speed is right here then. So what does this change in V over here then do? It adds it to, oh, show all. Oh, okay, it does show our change in V for that, but I'm not gonna really look over there, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on this change in, sp this speed here, so. Oops. All right. Well, let's get our way down. Um, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, if we get it to that range, that's fine. But like, when when if it comes out of that range coming down, like, how do we run the test? So okay, so there is a direct command to run a test on the ship. Oh God, we're gonna land on. Uh, watch out, everybody! We're coming in. Slightly hot. Might blow up. Probably gonna blow. Oh, we didn't. Nice. All right. Uh, good shit, I guess. We got out of that. We got um, precisely nothing from that run. So, well, we did get some knowledge. That's at least that's at least worth something, right? So let's see. Um, we get to that range with this setup right here. So I'm gonna keep this, but I don't know if we get to that speed. I, it says 780 meters per second here. Um. So what I might do is I might change the thrust so we get a little bit more, say, let's say 88% um, thrust. And uh, 
We'll see how high we get, but we got to keep an eye on this. We're going to have to keep an eye on this when we go up and try and make sure that we run that test and get that speed. So we got a couple things to pay attention to here. I can't believe I missed the fucking run test button. I, if I if I've said that earlier in an episode where I was like, oh yeah, there's a run test button, and I just forgot about it, then I uh, whoops. <laughs> but it's, to, find, to my knowledge, I just never even knew that was there. So uh, that's cool. Um, we're gonna have that there, <laughs> and we are going to turn on our SAS, and we're gonna get going. So our change in speed. Okay, so we've got it at okay. 380 to 480. So can we run multiple tests then? We might want to test it at an altitude of 700 and then or 17,000 and then test it. Oh. Um we actually have this speed here. Let's run this test. Okay, so we have that locked in, I guess. And once we get to 17,000, we can test our thing as well. Oh, I see. We might need to have both in order to get something. Okay. Um, so let's just fucking, let's just speed this up. Because I don't think there's a way that I can just, can I ab abandon <laughs> the mission? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's a Bort action group. Warp to Sunrise? Nope, we're just going to have to... You know what? We're going to have to see this through. I might have not deployed those quick enough. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay, we're coming down, though. Okay, so what we're going to need to do... I think we've got it now. Um, I am going to attach... Two flea boosters to the side. Set their fuel very, very low. So that way, and their thrust very, very high. So when we're at that 17, like when we're at um, that, like maybe 15,000 meter mark, I can hit the thrusters, shoot us up in speed because we're going to lose that speed as we get higher up um, to that, like. 300, 370,000 uh, 37 uh, th 370 meters per second in that range um, and hopefully get that sweet spot um, and then we'll just do the rest of the test as normal once we run that test but we have to have all of our parameters ready when that's going on um, so we're going to see if um, we can get that going And yeah, okay. We got everything here. Also, if you guys know of a way to like abort a launch, so that way, I mean, I guess the the fastest way is for me to just blow the launch up. But um, if there's another way to to help save like save some time, um, and you guys don't want to watch me like shoot a rocket up and come back down if we're doing a bunch of tests, definitely let me know. Um, and we will uh, do that. <laughs> so that way you guys don't have to wait. But we can. We have time for about one more test here. So let's hope we get it. But if we don't, we've at least learned that we can, one, change our amount of fuel for later on. And we also know that we can run tests, which is going to be super useful for when we get the, um, the flea booster. Which the flea booster, we don't have to run a test. We just have to haul it into flight above Kerbin. Um, so we need to just get it to that altitude and then I guess get that speed or get to get that test at that point, um, to, to log that data in there. Cause it does still give us a range. So we'll have to see, but let's just call this one, a a toss. Yes. Now I could as well raise my fuel level now that we know we could put this to 187 so that way we burn a little bit longer um and we're gonna put this up to 90 we might not have to do a flea booster on here because if we have enough fuel we should be able to be within that range 
um, of 17,000. Well, hmm. let's see. I'm not sure which will be trickier. Um, doing this or having uh, boosters on the side to get us up in speed. Um, because I don't know our approximate... Well, if our max is 780, that means that, like, half of its orbit, it's going to be at, like, about, like, half of that. Um, at, like, 390. And then it's going to... Hmm, and and a half of its orbit is around... If we're going up to, like, 20,000, then it's around 10... So, hmm, um, maybe, I don't know, that might not be, that might not be correct math, never mind, I'm just trying to figure out whether we can do, um, a booster here and just keep one, or if we do some couplers on the sides, um, I think let's try the coupler method, let's try that, um, I might actually already have that loaded up, let's see here, um, no, we do not. Okay. So let's just get that going. Uh, let's pop on some couplers. Right here. And we'll pop on... Um, let's see. What's, let's, let's check their weights. Um, the... We do not, we do not want the thumper. That's going to send us into orbit for sure. Um... This one has a weight of 1.5, and this one has a weight of 1.5. Okay, so they're about the same. Um, this one we can vary a little bit. Um, so we might want to do... Um, might want to set these, just to give us a little bit of speed on the sides. Um, well, actually, this is 1.5 tons. This is 1.5, and this also needs a fuel tank. So let's just do let's just do some flea boosters on the sides here. Um, and we're we're gonna do is we're gonna cut we're gonna basically um, activate them and then almost immediately decouple them, and see if we can get that speed uh, that we need that little that little extra speed boost. Uh, and we're gonna want these going. Oh, let's see here. Um, we're going to want the decoupling going on a new stage here. And we're going to want this going. And then we're going to want these here. And then we have our parachute and our decoupler here. So this should be the right way to do it. We're going to save. This is for sure going to be a bad idea. So we're going to change the name. We're going to launch our last vessel for today. See if our little plan here works to get to that test range. And we're going to want to make sure that we have our thing pinned so we can run that test when we need to. Uh, and we're going to get going here. Whew, all right. Gonna wanna, all right, we're going. We're going. We, we need our SAS going. Um... Oh, we want to make sure this is open so we can check our test. And we are rapidly losing speed, so we're going to do this. Oh! Um, well... They're gone, I guess. <laughs> oh man, we're not going to get there though. Oh, we were so close! We've got our speed, but we, we're going to be losing a little bit. We had, oh uh, shoot, we should have left them on for just a tad bit longer. Ah, all right. We're just going to send this one. Um, I'm truly sorry, Mr. Heyman, but uh, we're just going to, we're just going to save ourselves the, the time and the trouble and, um, Send you back home to God. <laughs> so, say your prayers, and um, 
God, we were so close. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't end the episode. Yep. Goodbye, Heyman. You strashed into the ground at uh, Mach two times four. So very, 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 very fast. Um, we are going to instead just do this again, um, real quickly, because we were almost there. We just we just had our our decouplers come off a little bit too soon. We had them come off around the eight thousand meter mark. Um, we were so we're gonna want to have them come off around. I'm gonna say like ten thousand. Uh, let's say let's say um, let's say like twelve thousand, like eleven thousand or something like that, um, because that's gonna give us enough time to get that um, speed to go down to get us into that range. Okay, we've got our parameters. We got everything going. We got our SAS. Okay, here we go. Shoot us up, baby. We're not going to do time speed because we got to get some things very precisely here. And then we're going to keep on cruising. Speed's going down, so we're going to hit this. I'm going to decouple those so we just go even higher and even faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my god, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Run the test. Run the Oh no, our sp wait. Oh no, our speed. Oh shit. Hold on. 480. 480. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, perfect. We got that 480 meters per second like right as soon as we were going past 22,000 meters all we have to do is save this poor goddamn man <laughs> oh oh man all right we can do this we can we can do this we have done this before we are prepared we are ready come on come on Get ourselves going. What are we going down now? No, we are slowing down. Let's turn ourselves sideways. Get it get it going slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're coming back down. Now we're coming back down. Okay. Turn ourselves around. Turn ourselves around. We want to hit our hit our hit our parachutes, okay? They're out. They're out. Our parachutes are out. And we didn't go so fast that we um had any burn up. So uh, now we just wait. <laughs> we see if we can do it. Let's uh let's increase our speed here. Four times? Four times? Yeah. Let's uh let's angle ourselves a little bit to try and give ourselves a little bit of okay, okay. It's popping out. Those are popping out. That's coming out. Going a little fast here. Uh, not too fast though, not too fast. Did we get it? Okay, I I think that's a successful mission, guys. I think we did it. We're just going to have to go down to the ground, but, I mean, that was probably the jankiest way that we could have done that. Um, but we did it. <laughs> it, it, it worked. Um, I guess we'll have to do the same thing with the flea. We could for sure get it to that 51,000 meter mark. Um, the speed's going to be something else, but we can try and do a little bit like we did here, where we just try and shoot it up as fast as we can, um, and hold on to it until then, and then click the test, and then we decouple. So that's probably what I like the the what we needed to do because I was worried like if we decoupled it, then we wouldn't get it, we wouldn't get the data if we um, lose the vessel. But what might actually end up happening is that the test happens and then it logs it and we don't have to worry um so that might actually be something that we could um do and then like decouple them and that way save ourselves so i could probably decouple this hammer here um but i'm gonna see what happens we shouldn't have it blow up on on, on landing um but I think what we can do, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think once we have it logged, we can just 
hit space bar, decouple it, and not have to worry about it anymore, which would be great because then we don't have that much mass coming back in on reentry. Um, and if our command shield has some heat shields built in, then it will be a much better time. Um, and now what we can do is we can also, once we've completed this um, mission, is we can accept the one that gets us up into the upper orbit and get some easy cash because we're probably going to hit that on our next run. Um, and that's what uh, Robin suggested, so we can follow through with that. Um, and yeah, I'm sure there's probably, since uh, this three-episode span, there's probably a couple more episode or more comments on what I did um, either wrong or things that I, I could look into um, since last episode. So in advance, uh, thank you very much. I will read those and make sure that we are ready for our next bout. Um, let's see, what are we going to... Damn it, it blew up. Okay, but we still... We still got the the mission, so it doesn't look like we actually need to save the vessel, I don't think. So that is good. Okay, we got no science from that. Uh, we got some money back. The crew gained no XP. But we did, I believe... We completed it, so we do not have to worry about keeping that um, that vessel. Um, let's see. Let's get. Let's look at this. Um, that's the one with uh, space. Let's see. Um, an observational survey. Observational survey. Um, measure the temperature in flight above nineteen thousand meters near Maya's sanity. No idea where that is. Um, Oh, the radial decoupler into flight. Okay, we could definitely do that. We also have the test the decoupler at launch. Um, we can test the thumper that we got. We can test the swivel. Um, we can test the decoupler. Okay, well, we're going to just grab this one at the launch site because this one's going to be super easy. Um, all we have to do is just test the TD-12 decoupler at the launch site, which I believe is the regular one that we have underneath the command pod. Um so we'll just accept that one for some easy cash um, because what we're going to do next time is get uh, our... Oh, there's debris here. What's this? Recover? Fly? Um, we'll recover it, I guess. What does fly do? Let's see. Hold on. I know this episode's going a little bit longer, but... Um, Oh, the debris. <laughs> it's, um, what the hell is this? It's like a little, is that a, is that a monument? A, a, a tombstone? <laughs> I guess I'll try and recover it. I don't know what it is. Um, but we might get a little cash back from that. But yeah, next time, I mean, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting the flea up into the sky. So we'll just, uh, we'll just go from there and, um, Oh, yeah, it looks like we've got some debris all the way over here. Yeah, we got a little bit of cash back, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. We can collect a little bit of money from that. And, yeah, next time we'll just shoot the flea up into space. And uh, we will um, see what, what, what goes wrong then. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for um, all the comments again and all of the uh, patience, I'm sure. Um, and, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. I will talk to you guys soon. And bye. Bye.